It's being said that new OSHA rules may bring more harm than good for thousands of volunteer firefighters across the state. Now, Arkansas lawmakers are stepping in, hearing some of the concerns from volunteer firefighters, at least in Sebastian County. Five News reporter Jacob Luthy has the story, all new at six. A lot of these uh, departments, they would not be able to afford to uh, keep open. I mean, it's, gonna, it's really going to hurt us. A new proposed Occupational Safety and Health Administration rule called the Emergency Response Standard is meant to protect first responders. But volunteer firefighters in Sebastian County say they're worried of its effects on small and rural volunteer departments. It's going to be extremely difficult for even career departments to abide by the new standards if it ever becomes law. In a meeting at the White Bluff Rye Hill Volunteer Fire Department in Sebastian County Wednesday, Senator John Bozeman listened to concerns regarding age requirements, vehicle restrictions, physical exams, and the cost of instituting mandates proposed in the rule. On the physicals, for example, on a volunteer department, if you've got somebody that's 60 years old that may not be able to pass that physical and that agility and things like that, if he can drive a truck or drive a tanker, to at least get water to the scene, that's a vital asset on a volunteer fire department. Senator Bozeman says that although the OSHA rule is intended to do good, there will be some unintended consequences that the state's 974 volunteer or part-time departments can't afford. I'm working with OSHA, we're trying to get them to realize that you can't have a one-size-fits-all. Certainly, uh, it's very different here in Arkansas than it is in a place like California or, or Manhattan. Uh, and then even within Arkansas, it's very different here than it is in downtown Fort Smith as opposed to here where we are in Rye Hill. Sebastian County Fire Department Association President Bobby Cox says retention of volunteer firefighters is hard enough and adds new OSHA restrictions will only make the situation worse. Well, during COVID hurt on volunteers, we're still recovering. Um, we're still trying to get people, you see us out, we're trying to get volunteers um, and, you know, to take another hit to where we're going to start losing vehicles and stuff like that, our trucks. I mean, it's just, we just can't. We just can't do it. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Jacob Luthie, 5 News.